بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو ندر ایپسوڈ آف فٹ بال گپ شپ فرینڈز ایف یو کڈ آلسو پلیز سبسکرائب ٹو دس چینل ایز ویل ایز پریس دی بل بٹن آئیکون پلیز آلسو شیئر دس چینل ود یور فیملی اینڈ فرینڈز اٹ ووڈ بی ویری ہیلپ فل ٹو گرو دس چینل سو فوکس لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز ایپیسوڈ ول بی اسپیکنگ اباؤٹ رال فراگنک ایز وی ہیو آل ہر دیٹ رال فراگنک ہیز جوائن مینچس یونائٹڈ ایز این انٹرویو مینیجر فار دا پیریڈ آف سکس منتھس ہی از سپوز ٹو بی دا مینیجر آف یونائٹڈ فار دس کمنگ پیریڈ انٹل دی اینڈ آف دا سیزن and then uh, afterwards uh, it's kind of reported that he will be moved upstairs in a consultancy role for two years uh, which will be a very a different thing for Manchester United they have definitely chosen a different route uh, after Ole Gunnar Solskjaer uh, we everybody knows that uh, United weren't playing uh, very well uh, in this season they were expected after the arrival of uh, Ronaldo and uh, Varane as well as Sancho that they would be expected Uh, that they should be challenging for the league title as well as doing good in uh, Europe. So as we have seen the previous results uh, f- such as Liverpool, Watford, uh, United have, haven't been able to produce goods. So in that case they uh, have sacked Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and now they've appointed Ralf Ragnick. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about Ralf Ragnick, uh, what he is, uh, what basically his school of thought is. and uh, what is he going to do different at united w- how can he improve manchester united what uh, what expertise does he has t- in order to improve this team and make this team uh, achieve good results so what we're going to do is we're going to speak about uh, what his school of thought uh, his school of thought is uh, gegen pressing uh, similar to uh, thomas tuchel as well as jurgen klopp what uh, gegen pressing is that uh, the teams what they're supposed to do is they are kind of ultra technical uh, technical and they are also tactical they have this urgency uh, in sense of that if they lose the ball they're supposed to get the ball early and the whole team has to work on that as soon as they get the ball and there has to be a very swift transition into the attacking mode where they are switching from defensive towards attacking in the space of 18 seconds uh, basically they have this kind of 10 second rule as well as 8 second rule what it meant is that they're supposed to get the ball back from the opposition uh, in 8 seconds and as soon as they get it they're supposed to trans transit basically themselves into an attacking unit and they have is all they have is 10 seconds so this all phase uh, makes them look a very aggressive kind of side uh, very attacking very uh, speedish very uh, fast and a very Uh, high energy football kind of a game so basically uh, in that kind of school of thought uh, it's almost to say that united currently are not looking as if they are kind of a ralf ragnick school of thought team uh, everybody is speaking about how ronaldo won't be suited to his school of thought uh, ronaldo likes to basically do does his own game and uh, he won't be pressing as Uh, Ralf Ragnick would want him to which is to be seen what uh, how does he do with Ronaldo in the side and uh, we'll be talking about many things about Ralf Ragnick in this episode uh, first what we're going to speak about is that uh, what basically uh, people think about him uh, as we've all heard that uh, Jurgen Klopp said that unfortunately a good coach is coming to England to Manchester United he's really experienced manager built two clubs from nowhere Manchester United will be organized on the pitch that's obviously not good news for other teams so that's what uh, Jurgen Klopp has to say about him and uh, basically uh, looking on uh, Ralf Ragnick he has many uh, coaches who have been his disciples uh, who apparently uh, kind of uh, follow his school of thought and they have kind of implemented uh, the way he wants footballs to be played Uh, there are many managers there are many coaches in the uh, world of football and uh, most notable are Jurgen Klopp and uh, Thomas Tuchel uh, which comes to mind and Jurgen uh, Nagelsmann also comes from the similar he's at Bayern Munich uh, then that there are many other coaches from various teams you could see on your screen David Wagner he was also one of them Ralf Hasenhüttl for who's uh, at Southampton and uh, Paul Mitchell he's at Monaco he is a sporting director over there the many uh, you could say renowned names uh, in the world of football who come from working under him and uh, ralf ragnick uh, is a very uh, notable name in the world uh, in the in the world of football so what we're going to see is that 
the way his side used to play, such as RB Leipzig, they apparently in the season of 2015 and 16, as well as 2018 and 19, they played with the formation of 4-4-2 as well as 4-2-2-2. Apparently, uh, what he seems to think is the fastest way to get more goals is to play fast, uh, play high energy football, do counter pressing. And the way he addresses uh, pressing is uh, pretty spectacular. What he thinks is that it's done in transition and uh, there are phases to it. And uh, what he seems to say is that there is a pressing trigger which starts the move. Then there's a secondary presser and then there's at the end pressing booster which arrives from different angles while others stuck into cutoff outlets. Basically what happens is that similarly collective behavior kicks in when the ball is won. At least one player immediately makes a deep run to stretch the opposition back line and beat both space and time. It's basically one of the coaching role book that Ralf Ragnick has put and implemented into his teams that as soon as you win the ball you simply have to transit into an attacking mode and make sure that you at least get a shot on goal and mostly it turns out to be one of the goals and he seems to be pretty potent about that he takes no other kind of uh, you could say he has no other uh, kind of pressing to have uh, like kind of uh, another way of uh, playing football what he means is that in order to play good football in order to play the best football around Europe he seems to think that this idea works and it has been working since last uh, 5 to 10 years and he thinks that this is how the modern football is and this is what Manchester United should be doing. Looking at the squad of Manchester United if they would be able to do that is uh, pretty you could say uh, it doesn't look so because the players that United have in their squad are not Ralph N Ragnick kind of players they're different there are some players who could play uh, according to the style of Ralph N Ragnick but it would be pretty uh, hard to point out to say that if there are like about more than 15 or 16 players who can adapt to his style but if he's able to do that if he's able to turn around and make the squad look playing better nobody knows that what the squad can achieve so as you can see on the screen, the average age that he tends to have, uh, especially in the season of 2018 and 19, RB Leipzig average age of the squad was 23.5 years, which is pretty young. And you could see in the chart that Bayern Munich, uh, which is just in the below, they had the average age of 26.8. So his side are pretty young and he especially like runners. He especially like good tactical players as well as uh, technical. So United will have to certainly improve themselves into this area. Uh, there's another, uh, you could s see another chart on the screen. It shows uh, that how much United uh, tend to press and how much they tend to do counter-attacks. Basically, United lie in a zone where there is low press intensity and many counter-attacks. As well as, you could say they also come into the zone of low press intensity with few counter-attacks. And as you can see, sides such as Chelsea, Manchester City and Liverpool, they rely they are in the zone of high press intensity and many counter-attacks. So United will certainly have to improve on this and they will certainly have to work on this in the uh, practice area where they'll have to improve on their skills as well as adapting Ralf Ragnick uh, philosophy. And uh, coming to that, uh, basically... Ralf Ragnick also seems to think that his strength relies on uh, Moneyball scheme. Moneyball is a scheme where apparently a club tend to buy good players on uh, less money <coughs> and they coach them better and if they coach them uh, like as you could say they can improve their skills and if they can improve them as players then they tend to sell them on a much better price on much better value. In back in 2019, he said that club building is about building the right squad by transferring the right players away and having more than 50% success rate of bringing in the right players. Then you must have the best possible coaches to develop these players. That's what he said. Apparently, his focus is based upon that once you get the players, you're supposed to get the player which fits your philosophy and then you're supposed to have good coaches who will improve them as players and so that they could go and improve the team and they can achieve the results which they want to do in the first place. Based on that, if you see that if Ralf Ragnick 
tends to improve on that side and he brings those kind of players and he brings those kind of coaches into Manchester United then we certainly see Manchester United they'll be turning for good they'll be uh, getting better and certainly they'll be also not vulnerable on losing to the lesser sides such as Watford and uh, it seems that Ralph Ragnick is a very sound choice he will come for six months he will do his work behind the scenes and he will make sure that the club is moving the right direction he will tend to go further in the Champions League he will work on the system he'll work on the formation he will work with the players and he certainly will give his uh, input on transfers uh, we've already heard from Christian Falk that he said that he's reported apparently that Ralf Ragnick is interested in Haaland he's also interested in Timo Werner he would also like to bring Hedara from RB Leipzig which seems that Apparently, he would have given names which he would wanted, certainly not in January, but definitely in summer. But we'll uh, have to see that. Will he be the manager as permanent? Uh, doesn't seem to, because the report says that uh, Ajax Eric Ten Hag is far closer to Ragnik's approach than Mauricio Pochettino. And uh, basically, they kind of, you could say that Eric Ten Hag works in a structure rather than demanding to be the manager it would start to divert the club uh, the club among those lines basically what it means is that Eric Ten Hag is used to working uh, under a sporting director you could say Ralf Ragnick is a kind of a sporting director and we could see a permanent manager such as Eric Ten Hag or Mauricio Pochettino working under him and uh, he'll can also bring a surprise he could also get another coach maybe we've not heard of maybe he would suggest that there's another coach lying uh, somebody said there's a coach of Sporting Lisbon he might come in we never know but anyway uh, we'll get to see all that and there will be also talks about how does he get uh, among the fans will fans love him or how would they rate him uh, there's also a suggestion that how will he work under the umbrella of Glazers as well as how will he deal with uh, Arnold uh, Murtog and uh, Fletcher uh, it seems that this is a very promising uh, kind of uh, time for Manchester United finally after Sir Alex Ferguson there is some hope that United will be doing right thing they have appointed a football person they have appointed a football man who can apparently turn things around and we have to see uh, what he does with this present squad uh, there will be many outgoings because most of the players there on the uh, last year of the contract and none of them want to renew with United, such as Lingard, uh, Pogba, and uh, you could see that uh, perhaps uh, some of the players, they would want to see how does Ralf Ragnick does, and if they feel that Ralf Ragnick is certainly changing things around, they might uh, have an extension to the contracts, and they would want to stay in United. But as far as... Uh, We'll still have to see how does he do as the manager. How does he improve this current squad? Uh, will he be able to improve Harry Maguire? Will he be able to improve Aaron Van Bissaka? He certainly had a say, uh, saying about Shaw. And he thinks that Shaw should be improving himself. And uh, he's a very strict person. Uh, <coughs> he uh, is a kind of person. He's a kind of person uh, who apparently has a very strict code in the kind of style he wants uh, to play. Uh, the way his teams uh, need to be set up on the ground and there was one example apparently where he appointed one coach and the coach didn't want it to work according to him and he adapted his own manner and he was spoken to by Ralf Ragnick and then he had to change his ways and apparently the good thing which Ralf Ragnick will bring in United will be his knowledge of uh, coaching network what he tends to work upon is not all the, all for the players uh, what he tends to work upon are the coaches he tends to bring in new ideas. He tends to know which coach uh, is pretty uh, doing pretty good. He has set up a system where apparently he gives a young coach a chance and then kind of uh, they give them a chance in terms of giving them more responsibilities, in terms of uh, moving them upstairs. As similarly, as it worked with uh, Thomas Tuchel and uh, also as a Nagelsmann so you could definitely see some coaches coming and joining United which will tend to improve United uh, in uh, terms of behind the scenes and uh, which will tend to improve United I think this is a plus point uh, if you want to take the whole summarization of what Ralph Ragnick will bring 
the positive thing that Ralph Ragnick will bring is the coaching knowledge. Uh, he will have these network of uh, coaches and he will introduce them to United and United will uh, reap benefit from it. So what United have been doing since last eight years uh, isn't been fruitful. And what they need to do is they need to appoint football people such as Ralph Ragnick and they need to get uh, advantage. They need to take advantage of Ralph Ragnick uh, intelligence and his uh, network and if they are able to do so certainly united will improve and in coming years they will definitely reap benefits such as uh, what liverpool and chelsea have done so folks that's all uh, in this today's episode i hope you like today's episode uh, see you soon in the next one uh, please subscribe to this channel press the bell button icon and please share this channel with your family and friends thank you for watching see you in the next episode